Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on page five. Page five, um, I'm gonna have to trim this to fit. So I'm gonna put down my clocks first and then um, I'll come back and trim that down. So this, uh, the clocks are coming from the 12 by 12 collection pack, just like on page four. Oops. it or test. Still needs a little off here. Okay. Well each the side we trimmed. Okay, now we are going to add two bifold cards. And these cards are eight by six or six by eight. You're gonna score at four. And these are gonna be horizontal cards. One's gonna open up and one's gonna open down. So the first thing I wanna go ahead and do is add my magnets on the inside so I don't forget, which I've been known to do. <clears throat> Okay, so the next thing is, let's get these laid out. I think we're, I'm going to do this and this. I want to do it that way, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and start decorating this. We're going to decorate both of these before we add them to the book, or I mean to the page. So remember, one card opens up and one opens down, so make sure you don't put this in upside down. And then if I didn't mention it, 12 by 12, 12 by 12, 12 by 12, 12 by 12, everything. On the A sides, it's 12 by 12. Okay, now for the inside, these are all coming from the 8x8. And we're just going to alternate the pattern.
Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Did I just, oh my gosh, I put that in upside down, you guys, <laughs> after I told you not to do it. Were you yelling at me? That one's correct. Luckily, it's only, um, only one because this is universal. Darn it. <sighs> Ding dong. Well, here I was thinking this is going to be like the world record for the fastest page, but, and I always leave these in, you guys can speed past it, but I do it because we all make mistakes and it's important to understand how to overcome them and try to preserve your paper if possible and to just not get so disgusted with yourself because it can be fixed. It's just a temporary setback. Now, if I was unsuccessful here, which could happen, um, there's another way around this. And I'll tell you what it is as soon as I get this off. And if you don't have a paint palette, get a paint palette. <laughs> They're much thinner than your weeding tool. This is the hard part because this is where the tape is. And that tape is pretty sticky. But you could use a little undo here too, but I'm, I'm not going to because I think I'm going to be able to lift the tape up. Yep. There we go. So as you can see, it's, it's pretty much intact. You can see a little um, warp right here where the magnet was. So now if you were unable to get this off without completely shredding the designer paper, what you want to do is just trim it right here and then take a four and a half by six and um, and then just add it. Is that right? I have to think about that. You could add a hinge here. Um, and if I did that, when I put this paper down, I would cut um, a three eighths inch strip to cover that part of the hinge. And here, I'll give you an example. Let me find something that's got a hinge on it. Here we go, so there's a hinge. So I would attach it like so, put my designer paper here and another strip right up here to cover it up so that it would be on the inside um, and help mask uh, the mistake that you made. Just a, a workaround. Or you could just lay this down as a flat mat. So there's three solutions. Peel it up, replace this with a new flap, cut it off and just lay down this piece as um, a photo mat, not a card. Shh, no one will know. Okay, no, no. 
burnish this down the part that's right over by the magnets. Make sure it's nice and flat. Voila, looks pretty good. Didn't get enough glue here. Okay, now back on track. Okay, so these are gonna go, just so you know, there's what they look like. Like so, so one's up, one's down. But I don't want it that way, I want it this way. Okay. So now my option is to have this be a full mat or to have this be a full mat. And this is super busy, so this is the path I'm gonna take. I'm gonna have it close like this. Uh, no, let me think about that. Let me pull in page four. Let's look at both of them together. So here's page four. So now we need to make a decision about how much of the bird we want to show and how much of this we want to show. Part of what I like about this is the way I trimmed it in just happenstance. I got most of this double, double toil and trouble. Um, I think I like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this one has to go down first. And I was just, that's what I was looking at, figuring out, you know, how this is all going together. So the, the one that's on the bottom is this one. So this will go in first. And right here, I'm just looking for an even border on these two sides. I do want it a little tight to the edge because I'd like to put a little something in the corner Kind of like what I've done here. Okay, now this needs to go in. I'm just gonna check that real quick and see if I'm straight. It's off a little, but not very much. Okay. Now this edge right here, I want to leave without glue. So when it's on here, your photo can go slightly behind it. So I was just looking at where to put my glue. That looks about right. Okay, there's page four, page five, and let's add a little something here. So I'm going to get my goodie plate with all my scraps and fun things. I want a little color. I'm trying to pull in a little bit of the blue. So let's see if we've got some small cards here that we can use. So big. 
I need something horizontal and I think all the cards are vertical. I like that. Let's see if I can find something with blue. Here we go. So that is what I'm going to do. And then I think I might put a cut apart down here. <clears throat> I don't like that. Okay, now I'm going to too big, something smaller. Don't want chipboard because we already did that. So I think I'll find a scrap to fussy cut something out of. Like that. I think I want to pull the flower back in, so let's find a scrap of flower. Just knocked over all my paper. Oops, it's too heavy. Sorry guys, my um, standing paper holder just tipped over for too much weight in the back. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna fussy cut one of these out and we're gonna add it here to the bottom. Now this was a, a hard edge and I'm softening it to make it look like it's part of the fussy cut because it's the right scale. Okay, there we go, I like that. Let's see if there's something else we can't stick with it. It's too much. Why did I cut that out? I don't know. <clears throat> too big. Hmm. 
This is from the 8x8. And that's what I'm going to use. Pulls in a little bit of color. Like it it's too forced. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Just leave these here with the plan for those to be the photos. I'm going to clear my visual space. This would have been a good choice too. I don't want to use that someplace else. All right. And this as well. I kind of like that, but then it makes this look plain. So mm, let's see if I can use that here. No, it just doesn't look right. Okay, that's it for now. I'll be back soon with more.